welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome to episode number two of our tutorial series of the new Just Flights BAE 146 Professional. Okay, so in the last episode, if you have not watched it, I will put a uh, little thing at the top there if you want to go click on it and go back and watch that one if you are here on episode number two. So episode number one, we discussed uh, the full start, cold and dark procedures down to taxi, okay? And that's where we are currently. We've taxied here to uh, 26 left at Gatwick. We've got a lot of traffic. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to get into the pattern here and hopefully take off before too much more traffic gets involved. So in today's episode, we're going to be looking at takeoff. Uh, we're going to be looking at turning on the navigations for climb, checklists, uh, cruise, descent, and ILS into uh, Manchester. I think we're going into five right now. Okay, obviously depending on what you would get through your ATC and depending on how you're doing it. So everything is fully set up now for takeoff. We've already done the last check on the last episode. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to start moving ourselves into position uh, before too many more aircraft come. Just shaking a little bit while she gets into where she wants to go. There we go. Okay, landing lights will now go on. Okay, we're just going to quickly move here. Landing lights are on the up position, remember that guys, okay? And we, we turn off the taxi lights there, which we're already done. Okay, the aircraft nearly got away from me. Okay, so we got to wait our turn for our departure. Who knew that we'd have traffic? Okay, so remember, we're clear to 5,000 feet. We're going to follow the chart properly, even though we're not using any ATC. We're going to copy the chart properly the way it should be. Uh, so we're going to head straight out on the heading of 257 as the course. Uh, as we still make our way up to the taxi bit there. I hate when uh, I need to add that add-on that stops you doing that. As the aircraft's moving, of course. Okay, so 257 is our course, uh, which is our heading as well. 257... Okay, everybody else has taken off now, so we would be clear to take off, which is good. It sounds like there's an aircraft about to go through me. Whoa! Okay, he's coming into land. Obviously, we would need to make sure you get ATC. Uh, I, I, turned, I turned ATC off. Usually, I use pilot to ATC, guys. Um, but I, obviously, I turned it off for the purpose of this tutorial. So we're actually good to go. Okay, so just last check then. Uh, make sure your lights are set, okay, they are, strobes are on, um, takeoff lights are now on, runway lights have now been turned off, uh, we actually are good for takeoff, so, this actually does set according to this, and uh, the TMS, okay, so, we know, once I start increasing the throttle, it is going to auto throttle, I'm going to show you, and try and watch it at the same time, so start increasing this throttle, you can see now, I've, well you can't see because you haven't got my camera on, but I've now taken off, my handle of that and it's now going to start speeding up and we're going to listen now for the call outs speed aligned both sides okay speed aligned both sides that means we've got indicated air movement speeds we're waiting for this white bug cross check, cross -check to 80 knots check Got a long runway, like I said, we could have shortened it down with more flaps, uh, but we're okay, I think. Okay, 120 knots. We're now going to get our rotational speed. Okay, we've had a rotational call out. So let's head up to around a good kind of 10, 15 degrees here, guys. Okay, gear up, positive rate of climb. So you can see now that we're starting to exit out as we climb 500 feet out. Uh, like I said, we will not make that turn really until you're about 1,000 feet. Uh, then we'd start making a heading turn if you wished. Uh, or, depending on how you want to fly, um, we will just throw it on the autopilot. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay. So, you need to make sure you click autopilot down here. And then turn on the AP up here. Okay, so autopilot down below and autopilot here. We're going to press L nav. Let go of the joystick. It is now going to 
do what we want it to do. Now, this is not controlling vertical speed at present. Okay, we now climbed over 1,500, nearly 1,500, and then we should start speeding up. Again, we're only climbing as far as 5,000 feet anyways for the departure here. But you can see now it is going to make sure these all align up through our waypoints, through the FMC on the legs page. Uh, we should probably leave that le legs page up so we can always see it. So we're still at decent speed. That is fine. I'm just going to bring our nose down now that we've climbed over the uh, 1,500 point. And, and that is to try and bring up our speed here now. And also, I'm going to change this to sync. Okay, so that is now going to sync our speeds uh, to what it should be. And again, just want to kind of bring down that nose, trying to bring up that speed a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to disengage the uh, autopilot for a second. Okay, I know what happened. Um, for some reason my trim went all the way down. I don't know why. I must have accidentally hit something. Um, well, there we go. We have a bit more control now of the airspeed. Yeah, so I don't know why, but the trim... Uh, the trim was set a bit funny. It's still... The nose is quite high here. There we go. Okay, now that we're picking up speed, uh, flaps will now need to come up, as he just said. And what I'm going to do again now here is engage that autopilot. This is really messy. Uh, and back on the L nav. And it's now going to bring us back to navigation. Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure why the trim nosedived the way it did. It's now going to auto trim itself. And we can't go any higher than 5,000 feet anyways. So that's all well and good. I will just hit IAS and we're not picking up much more speed. So that means it'll just hold 200 while we climb to 5,000 and then it'll level off. Yep, so I have no idea why it just did what it did. But yeah, uh, I must have hit the button by accident and the trim went all the way down. Um, so that's why I couldn't control the aircraft. But there we go, so don't do that. Other than that, everything is all actually well and good. It's all working quite nicely. I've hit IAS. Uh, so basically it'll just keep the speed that it is currently at until we hit 5,000 and then it'll start speeding up. So we need to keep an eye on that. I don't. We don't want to go over two, uh, 250 knots while we're below. And you can see here, this will show you when you level with your speed. We're at 5,000 feet now, so the aircraft is picking up its speed. So just going to ease off on those throttles just a little bit. And control them. And stay under our 250, okay? You can see here now... It's all working quite nicely. The aircraft, like I said, is quite a nippy aircraft. Okay. Uh, so this clearly is taking us directly to LAM. It's not quite following the uh, waypoints correctly. Uh, but that, that's fine. It is what it is. Okay, so it's going direct to LAM. So still, it's the same procedure here. Once we're at LAM, we can again go above uh, our 5,000. Okay, so let's not worry too much about that as it currently stands. Um, it is the default FMS, and it's not that great. But it is going to LAM, and that is fine. That is our next waypoint.
Okay. So we, we, we're stuck at kind of 5,000. We probably actually could go up to 6,000 uh, because, but look, we'll just stay where we are. Everything is running quite smoothly. Still just speed is tracking away from us a little bit there. So we can't do too much till we get to LAM, once we pass LAM. Now obviously not using any ATC, we could just go straight up uh, to our 22,000 feet. It is up to you I suppose. As you can see here, after LAM, up to 22,000 feet. Uh, to see the top of descent, you can see here, um, basically, Evlos. So once we kind of pass Timpo, uh, we will be starting our descent down into 3,000, which is what we need to be at for the ILS capture. So. You, you, you kind of understand that bit there. Like I said, there's a little bit of a messy takeoff. Uh, we are currently still going way too fast uh, with no weather, no headwinds and stuff. Unfortunately, yeah, the trim. I don't know why it auto trimmed all the way down to the bottom. I, I must have hit the button on my joystick. I do not know. Uh, so yeah, so sorry that was messy, but there you go. That's how you kind of fix it. So don't panic when things happen. Just keep a lookout, have a look around. Obviously, sometimes it's always something very, very simple. Now, if we had done it through the radio navigations, we would have gone straight out to here. And then we would have made that turn ourselves and, and done it all through this navigational system up here, through the radios. Um, that's one way you can fly this aircraft uh, to the waypoints via them. Uh, but it is easier just to follow the FMS. It is probably the easier. Now remember this aircraft also has no auto throttle. No, not auto throttle. Um, reverse thrust. So do not forget that as well. So now that we're in the climb, probably done, should have done this a little bit before. Um, AC pump would now go off. Uh, but it's on automatic, so it's fine. PTU would now go off. Brake fans to automatic, uh, they're, they're just sitting on automatic anyways. APU now we could stop, we no longer need the APU that we're in the air. Ice protection as required, we don't need any ice because we're not doing anything. Lights as required which is fine. Continuous ignition would now go off here at this point as well. Um, and there we go, that is pretty much all we need while we, uh, while we cruise, it's given us a warning. Uh, what is our warnings down here? Spoilers. Spoiler. Lift. Spoiler. Select. Off. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what it what it's mad about there. Is it the auto spoiler? Yeah, I'm not going to worry about them too much. <laughs> in all honesty. So we're sitting under the 250, we're about to pass LAM very, very soon. Once we pass LAM, we'll be making a, a slight little turn there, as we all are very much aware of. As we head to Wheeling, which will be our next point. Okay, so now that we're pretty much at LAM, I'm just going to show you how then we'd go up. We'd move this up to... Uh, Cruising altitude, 22,000 feet, we'll just scroll around. Sometimes it's a bit easier just to use the, the wheel here. I say that and it's not doing what it needs to do, there we go. Oh. Okay, you'd arm that. And because we're still under the threshold of 10,000, we can't be above 250, remember, guys? Uh, so we're just going to increase that speed. And you can see that the speed is aligning. Uh, then we're going to go for IAS again. We're hitting about 240 knots at the moment, and we'll use that now to climb. As uh, as we're now making the climb again, as we head up to 22,000 feet. So, at this stage, the only thing that we need to do 
uh, is wait for 10,000 feet to turn off our landing lights. Okay, we can now get rid of that. We can start looking at our arrival. Okay, if we click on our charts here, uh, our arrival today will be on the daily 2A. So we can roughly see what our arrival is going to be. We might change that actually. Let's have a look. Okay, we've now made that turn to Wheelin. And uh, like I said, just keep an eye on your legs. So we go to our previous page. We're now heading 51 nautical miles to Wheelin. Okay. Okay, we're still taking the day at 2A. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Wheelin TNT. We'll see how we go with this, because uh, TNT should be the next one. We'll just keep an eye on that flight plan. Okay, so, EGCC, uh, let's have a look at our approaches. We're looking for ILS 5 right. ILS 5 right. Nice, okay. So, for the ILS, uh, while we're still climbing, until we get above the 10,000, uh, because we're using the FMC, so 111.55, 111.55, That is our ILS frequency. We don't have to activate it yet. You, you can do. It doesn't really matter. If you want to activate, you just click this little switch here. And okay, that is the ILS uh, programmed in. Our course will be 052. Uh, so you just move this around. Whichever way is quicker, it's always hard to tell. Okay, course is 052. So that is actually set. Um, we will turn over to radio navigation once we get a bit closer. Uh, we should be coming in from the day of 2A. We should be doing the MCT 1. So it'd be one of these. I can't remember which loop it is. It'd be one of these loops anyways. Uh, the other thing we need to look at here is our minimums. Okay, so 386 is our minimums. Now, for the minimum call-out, you use this little thing here. So what we do, uh, it was 36-something, wasn't it? Uh, 386, so we'll round up to 390. Okay, and if you just press it in, you see that the mouse will change. There you go, 390. That is your minimum call-out. We can set that now, I suppose. It does no, no harm. Okay, we now climbed over 10,000 feet, uh, so you take off your landing lights, of course. And uh, sit back, relax, and wait until we get to top of descent. So I'm going to talk to you guys once we get there. Okay, guys, welcome back. Okay, so we're three nautical miles away from uh, Akpu. Uh, and then once we hit Tim uh, Timpo, we will be uh, descending down now there are a few ways you can descend with this aircraft again you can use your vertical speed uh you can use your pitch and trims um i'm going to use ias like i would with my ga aircraft uh, only because that's what i'm most comfortable with it's not necessarily the right way or well there is no real wrong or right way you can do it any way you wish whatever you are most comfortable with i'm just going to show you my way as you already saw my takeoff was a disaster so um, look, we're holding at 300 knots here quite nicely, uh, which is our target speed at 22,000. We've been at cruise now for only a couple of minutes before we come back down. It is a short flight. Okay, so by the time we get to uh, Timpo, we, we need to be started already our descent, which is in three nautical miles. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull back on the throttles. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is I'm going to bring our indicated airspeed under the 250 okay uh, so when i get down to 10,000 feet i don't have to worry so much now this can descend as fast as slow as you want the way that i'm doing it with indicate airspeed it is a little bit harder to target um so you know 8,000 is what i'm going to put as our first here at d-a-y-n-e and that is a good target for me to know where we're at so i'm going to change this to 
to 8,000 feet to start with. Okay, that's guys most of the way there. And then I'll know roughly by D-A-Y-N-E if I'm in the correct place or not. Again, what I'm going to press here now is the Alt Arm. Okay, if you do not arm it, remember it will not do anything. Uh, indicated airspeed is now dropping. Um, and we should be now starting to descend already. But I'm, like I said, I'm just going to save myself a little bit of hassle for later on. I'm just going to get us under that 250 is what I'm aiming for. All right, around there. There we go. And I'm going to now use indicated airspeed. And I'm going to pull back on the throttles to idle. Now that is going to make us descend pretty fast down to 8,000 feet. Um, we have quite a few nautical miles. I just want to start getting the descent down. Okay, so flight level 19 by 2 nautical miles. So yeah, look, we've got a bit of catch up. So idling it, look, it's going to drop itself down nicely. It's going to hold itself at the indicated airspeed. Um, and then we're under the 250 as well, which is quite important. Okay, under the 250. That's just when we're down under 10,000, it makes our lives just a little bit easier. Um, so yeah, look, there's no right or wrong way of doing this. There are many ways you can bring this aircraft down. I'm just doing what I am most comfortable with doing. Okay, now we're on descent. Uh, PTU will now have to come back on. So we do actually have checklists. Okay, I'm just going to leave this up because we're going to need it. So PTU up here, we now need to go back on. Okay, pressurization was already set and is fine. We're all well and good with that. Briefing for landing is complete. We're landing at ILS uh, 5 right into Manchester using the DAYN2 uh, arrival uh, landing data, bugs data set. Okay, so at this stage as well, what we could do is set our altimeters, but 2992 is fine because I'm not using any weather for the tutorial. Um, but again, you'd have to find that out. How I usually get my data is um, from the meter bot inside my Discord or Active Sky. As I use that, it does give you the, the meter. Um, but yeah, depending on how you're doing that, there we go. Other than that, uh, we're now vertical speed. You can see our vertical speed. So you can control your vertical speed. Say if you only want to descend at one, say one nine. I think uh, we've got 90 nautical miles to drop here. So what I'm doing, I'm bringing the throttle back up a little bit. By throttling back up, you can see the vertical speed's going to change, the indicator. I want to stay around 1,500-ish where I can. Don't want to bring it in too much. There we go, 1,500 at the minute. A little bit more, maybe. Uh, so you can control it using your throttles this way with indicated airspeed. Like I said, no right or wrong way. You could use it through the TMS uh, and use the vertical speed with the uh, pitch down, pitch up as well. Like I said, whatever, whatever is easiest for you. And the aircraft will now try and get itself sitting at the 250 where I want it to sit while it descends. So, you know, we're at a vertical speed of 1,900, I recommend that. that. That's not too bad. Okay, so 50 nautical miles, we should be down by around 12,000. Uh, so we know if we need to catch up on ourselves or not. Uh, like I said, we're just going to leave this up for a minute. I know it's a little bit annoying in your way. Um, but until we get a bit closer down to the descent, I will speak to you once we get to the D-A-Y-N-E. Okay, I find ourselves here now. We just dropped below the 10,000, so your landing lights, of course, ugh, would go on. There we go, landing lights are on. Uh, nothing else is need to be uh, done just yet. As you can see, uh, we are coming down quite nicely. Uh, we're going to be down at 8,000. We've got nine nautical miles to go, so look, we're going to be down nice and early. I always say to people, it's always better to be down a little bit earlier than too late. Um, but then once we pass D-A-Y-N-E, uh, we will then drop down to 3,000. Okay, a couple of checks here. You can see that we're now actually coming into what we need to be at. Um, 3,000 is where we're going to be taking over the ILS frequency, uh, which is fine. I said uh, we're going to watch how we come in. I don't know if we're on the first loop or the second loop. I'm not entirely sure. I think we're on the, uh, I think we're on the first loop here. And uh, the ILS takes over at D8.7 DME, so it takes over at here. Okay, so we're already down to our 8,000 feet. Uh, you're going to notice that the aircraft is still going to lose a little bit more speed once we uh, sell. So you can see the altitude now has come in, it's kicked in, it's now settling. Um, but I'm still keeping the throttles low for the second. I want to drop some more speed. Not too much, just a little bit. Okay, 
okay around here around here looks okay for me okay so once we four nautical miles then we can now drop down there so we can now move this again uh this can now start getting ready at our 3000 feet for the ILS uh, which is when is what is telling us that we need to do next as you can read here 3000 uh, MCT uh, which is fine and we're going to arm that and that is basically ready then to drop again but I want to drop at a bit of a low speed roughly where we're kind of sitting now I'm just going to increase that throttle again as we don't be coming too fast into that approach um, this is when your flaps will start coming in uh, the autopilot man will start telling you when But obviously we're a bit early for that. We don't want to be doing that just yet. We're still only here at 8,000. Uh, we're, we're doing fine. Now we we drop down now to IAS again. Uh, as we just passed that waypoint. And we can now drop as low as 3,000. IAS has kicked in. So I'm just going to idle them throttles again. And basically the aircraft will hold itself at that point there. Nice and slow. Bring it in nice and easy. Uh, that is the main thing. Uh, we've got 11 nautical miles anyways to drop down uh, which is plenty uh, you can see our vertical speed is just over the one as it currently stands okay now that we're coming to start thinking about our approach uh, it won't be long now before we'll come in here and start making the turn when we start coming in on the approach itself uh, we do have another checklist uh, alti altimeters we need to check but 299 and 2 we don't need to change them anyways um, and a few other little bits for the radio navigation. You have to make sure your radio navigation is on standby on Otherwise it will not work. Uh, so that's one thing and we will be switching these over to navigation uh, Once we get a bit closer to that ILS start making that turn and uh, then we'll start doing that Everything else though is looking nice and good. Hopefully this tutorial has been to some use to you uh, I do apologize for the, the takeoff. I like I said I must have just hit a button I was wondering why I was fighting the aircraft um, But it is what it is um, I showed you how to fix a problem. Some some might say. There you go. There's Manchester Airport ahead of us. How are we looking? We're down at 6,000. Uh, just need to descend a little bit faster. I'm not descending quite fast enough. As we're going to now start making that turn very, very soon. Okay, we don't need this no longer. We know where we need to be, 3,000. Um, and I think we're going to be fine. Okay, so <clears throat> we are still dropping down. Uh, we should have been a bit lower by now before this turn, but we've got plenty of time to catch up. Here we go. It's going to start making that turn now for us. ILS frequency is already in 111.55. We'll make sure we tune into this one as well. 111.55. That is our frequency. We can see that the turn has been made. Uh, we're still descending down to the altitude, uh, which is fine. So look. We need to look at our checklist here. Uh, okay, so brakes check, lights as required, check, flaps set for landing, we're getting there now. Um, APU will now start being fired back up again, by the way, guys. APU will now come back on. And uh, that's pretty much it for lights and notices. Lights and notices, all good. Cabin notified. Cabin. Again, you notified the cabin using this, uh, but we're not using that, so that is also fine. So, what we're going to do here then, so how this is currently working, is all well and good. So, once it hits the 3,000 feet, um, it'll start slowing down a bit more. I want to start bringing us down now into a lot slower. Here we go. So, we are taking the longer route round. So, once we start making this turn, we're going to change our navigation uh, unit uh, to basically what we'll need to change it to is GSL, which is the glide slope, and the VL to get the localizer and we need to change our nav here and the nav here okay into nav okay to copy this nav so once we're in to reach that 3000 
Okay. Okay, so it's now asked us to add our first notch of flaps. We're down after 3,000. You can see that we are still slowing down, and that's what I want. I want to take out the speed here now. Now, the flaps on this aircraft are awesome. Uh, we'll have a quick little look. You can see them coming out. They're so cool. We'll, we'll have a better look in a little bit once we get on to final approach. Okay, so I'm still dragging the speed out. And I'm now going to start increasing those throttles. Now, what we want to do is actually put in a little bit of this air brake because for our go round, if we do need to have a go round, uh, which is all well and good, back to 3,000 feet. So that's already set. But these engines take a little while to spool over. So we want the air brake out um, so we can keep the engines at a higher rate of speed. So just a little bit out. And again, this is a pretty cool air brake. You can see it out the back here. It's so cool how the air brake works in this aircraft. So you do need it out a little bit for landing. Like I said, it is literally just to uh, just to help you keep engine speeds up a little bit, okay, in case you do need to do a go around. Okay, our landing is, speed is pretty much getting there now. I am setting the flaps now to 30. Uh, we did click on our indicator bug here. There we go. You can see there is our new V reference for our speed. Uh, so we still have a lot of speed to kill out. We're at 140 currently. So all I've done is click on this and it, it's going to give you your new headings for your speed bugs, okay? So 140 is okay for the moment. Let's bring it just down a little bit more. Uh, as we make that turn, so everything is looking good and then we'll be full flaps very, very soon as well. Okay, look, let's set our flaps to full. And now it's going to tell you that it wants this gear down. Okay, and that's fine. We'll just set the gear down now as we're going to be hitting the approach very, very quickly here. Okay, gear is down. Flaps is full. Um, lights are set for landing. Uh, yep, everything is good. I've also turned on, again, like I've said before, the APU has now become available. Um, once we make the turn, once we kind of get to here, so D8.7 is the capture point. So once we start making the highest point of the turn, we're going to change our, our speed and references. Okay, landing legs and stuff are out a bit soon now, but because of talking, talking and landing and having too much to do is too much. Um, so we're just keeping an eye on that speed. 140 is fine. Our landing speed here is at one. Uh, what was our landing speed for today? So our landing speed at full flaps would be one to one. Okay, one to one. And that is more than fine. You should see this now should make an, another change now once we hit the top of this point. There we go. It's now starting to make that turn again. And like I said, we don't want to... Um, we don't want to be waiting too long. Look at those flaps. It's so cool. It is such a beautiful aircraft, guys. Okay, so once we reach the top of the circle, we'll change. If we change it now, it's going to try and cut in. Uh, so to give yourself the most time as possible, once it started making that full turn, here we go. So we're going to change this now to nav. So nav mode is now set. Uh, VL has now become that, and we need to set the GSL now, of course, as well. And what this is now going to do is going to draw and capture this glide slope and localizer, and your co-pilot should talk to you. Glide slope has now been captured. Okay, we're now just going to ease off on that speed. Uh, our air brake is still out, which is fine. Like I said, we do want it out a little bit for landing, um, just so we can keep the engine thrust up. Now, we're still waiting for it to capture the localizer. You can see it's going to come in here. It won't capture it until it's in, but it is in the glide slope now. Okay, our V-speed has already dropped now for landing, so we're just going to keep that engine speed up. You can see how high we can keep the engines uh, with that air brake out. So that's why we're doing what we're doing. And the speed bug that I have set is here, so I want to try and keep that there for the moment. I think that is all well and fine. We've already set our DH. Everything is set for landing because we're now ready nice and early. We're just going to watch this do what it needs to do, and then we're going to bring this bird home the end of this tutorial another long one do apologize uh, a bit messier too but it, it, there's just a lot to talk about with this aircraft so much okay so 
AC pump is on auto automatically, yet yeah, gear down. Localizer is now captured, lights are as required, flaps are set, cabin is secure, ice protection as required, APU air is on already, engine air packs as required is on, TMS disconnect by 200 feet. So it wants us to disconnect the TMS. Now I've not used the uh, the kind of auto throttle system most of the way, I've done it manually because I'm using IAS speeds. Um, there we go, it's now going to start making its final turn for the runway, here it is, five right in front of us. Uh, it has captured already uh, as we know so it should start descending us so it is going to pick up a little bit of speed so we're just going to ease off those throttles a little bit we have plenty of time and again ILS landings guys this will bring you in pretty much most of the way it says disconnect everything by 200 feet um, which you do yourself you, you can press a little button here unless you have a joystick button already connected um, it is up to you like I said, just watch your speeds now coming in. I think we could probably have a little bit more of that air brake. Um, we've got plenty of time though. We're still 8.9 nautical miles out. We know it's captured. We're now reducing our speed here. Uh, we're reducing our altitude. Again, I just you use the air brake as much as you wish um, to keep the throttles up. That's basically the, uh, the way to go. As you can see, that is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. As we come into Manchester. Okay, 2400. We can see above ourselves here with two white, two red. Everything is looking okay for the moment. Uh, nothing else we need to really go through here now. Just prepare for landing. Keep an eye on the speeds. We want to keep it on, try and get it onto that white bug now very, very soon and hold it. So we can move this uh, so it does help you. Once it kind of comes into this middle line here, we know that that is our landing speed. So we're just going to increase that throttle a little bit. Just just touch it, just so we, we, we hold that speed. We know that that is now our landing speed. Now, with the ILS, you can take over whenever you want. If you want to take over now, it's a clear day, no wind. Uh, it is a fairly simple approach. Uh, but just to show you, I'm going to bring us in probably just down to about 1,000 feet. That's usually when I take over anyways. Um, again, look, just watch that speed. It's just dropping a little bit. Keep that speed up just a little bit more. And you can see that the engines are turning over at 60... 68 69 so if we do need to do a go around the engines are already spooled up quite high bring in that speed brake full speed uh, if we had to do a go around okay you can see here now this is uh, kicking in it will give you minimums the guy is talking to you uh, as, as as you go through this as well speed is looking good everything is looking nice uh, as we come in so remember change both navigations to nav vl will come alive gsl for the glide slope make sure you click it because it won't automatically be there as you can see, we're coming in nicely here at 5 right. It's been quite a nice little flight, actually. Okay, everything is prepared for landing. Okay, the only other thing you could do if you wanted to is that cease for landing if you haven't done all this kind of bits and pieces. Um, that is up to you, really. Okay, 1,400. I'm just watching that speed now. It is creeping up again a little bit. Okay guys, about a thousand feet out here now. So whatever you are most comfortable with is what you do. If you want to bring it into 500 feet, that's fine. 200 feet, remember, you have to disconnect. So, you know, if it is windy or other bits and pieces are going on, you know, do what you feel comfortable with. Okay, so we have control of the aircraft here. We're just following the two white, two red, following your flight director still. That's what we're looking to aim for should bring us in nicely just keeping an eye on that throttle a little bit too I've come a bit low already talking everything is looking okay too white too red again just keep dropping that a little bit too low this aircraft lands quite flat we'll do a two-stage kind of flare 
we'll level off a very small flare for this aircraft two white two red again try and hit that center line and marking touchdown zones the best we can we're not perfect Okay, now we're a bit high. It's okay, we're coming in. All is good. Okay, as we start coming in, easing off on that throttle. Let her come in, just slight little flare, ease off on that. Oh, bit of a heavy landing. There we go. And that's it. You then, whatever button you have keyed, you need to set your out for your air brakes, as you can see. Oh. Less spoilers, please. There you go. There is no reverse thrust, remember. Uh, the landing actually was only 187. So, yeah, not that bad. 80 knots. We can now manual brake if we wished. And we will, we will come off here. Start bringing in the flaps. Surely we're not going to come off where they're coming in. No. Okay, welcome to Manchester, guys. Parking brake is set for the second as it does this jumpy thing. Yeah, a little bit annoying. Um, there you go. Flaps are set. Brakes are done. At this stage, then, uh, landing. AC pumps are on. TMS disconnected. That is all checked and done. After landing, all the brake spoilers in, flaps up. Okay, so the air brake would need to just come in a little bit here. Uh, transpond as required. Okay, so we'll now go back to TA as we're on the ground. Uh, continuous ignition as required. Depending if you're going to run again, we would put continuous ignition maybe back on. Uh, we do have the APU here if required. Um, air conditioning as required again. It's still currently on. Generators as required as they're still on. Engines as required as they're still on. Okay, everything is looking good. Um, we will go and park up very quickly. And we'll have a quick little look at the landing. It was a bit hard. I'm still getting used to this aircraft myself. Uh, I came in a bit high and then I came in a bit too fast. But look, not, not the end of the world. It was still under 200, so we'll take that. XP realistic hasn't been actually programmed and set for this, so it is a bit over the top. Um, so that's why it bobbled your head so much. But we're good. Crossing runway, check left, check right. Nothing coming in. Nope, there's one about to come in, though. There is an aircraft coming at us, so we're going to turn to the right here. So guys, as always, if any of you want to come join the VA, you're more than welcome. Simply connect VA.com. Uh, this is part of the Highland Connect fleet. Uh, we have many fleets, America, Europe, worldwide, uh, and we're growing all the time. The next fleet is about to be announced very, very soon, uh, which will be taking this aircraft to uh, another country. We'll be doing some flights in it around there. Won't tell you where just yet. Just trying to look for anywhere to park, really. There are some parking spaces here on the left. Uh, have a quick look at the replay. Watch what we did badly wrong. But you get the idea. Um, every time I try and make tutorials and I do takeoff and landing, it always goes wrong. Uh, I have live streamed it a few times. If you want to look over them, they're a lot better. Um, I don't know why. It always is the way. Always is. Okay, let's bring her in here now. Okay, 
all lights would now go off. You'd take off your taxi lights and stuff as well. Um, if you want to do full shutdown, taxi emergency lights, yet yeah, all check, pressurization, depressurized, uh, we could just dump that. That's fine, it's on auto, so it's automatically dumping anyways. Um, fast seatbelts off. Uh, you'd go back to here, you'd want to start bringing out your stairs. It's going to take a bit of time. You can shut off all your engines. It's quite hard from where we're sitting. Uh, but again, just to, to have a shutdown, very simple. P remember, uh, PTU is already, uh, APU is already on, so yeah, we're all good with that. Uh, we could then turn off those generators. Uh, we could turn off all the fuel apart from the left inner because we have the generator on, PTU's on, uh, engine pumps are on. We could They can now come off. And again, if we needed to start, it's a fairly simple process. Um, and packs air could all come off, engine airs would all come off here as well. That simple, guys. I say that. It should be simple. Okay, so we go have a quick little look how bad that replay was. And I've just remembered we have the stairs out, so they're going to be on the replay. Okay, they're getting put away as we speak. Yeah, cut off the uh, throttles too early, but not too bad. So there we have it guys, we're going to leave it there. Hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial, hopefully it's helped you guys. If it has, let me know in those comments down below. Come join the Discord, come join the VA if you wish. Uh, you're all more than welcome. Other than that for myself guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next one. Bye for now.